Hey guys, I'm Brandon Bergeron here again out of the Academy near Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today I have here with me one of the blue belts out of the Academy, Don. He'll be helping me show to you the triangle choke from guard. I'm going to show this technique because I got a request from one of my viewers to show a triangle to armbar transition or a good way to lock that up and make it a nice solid tight technique. And I feel that before I show a transition from the triangle to another submission that I should probably go over the triangle in and of itself. The triangle is one of my favorite submissions. It's one I've gotten in a lot of jiu-jitsu tournaments and even MMA fights. I've finished a few of my fights with it as well. It has proven to be a very, very successful tool of mine, one that I use a lot, right? So let's get started. So I'm going to show the triangle from guard. It's a position that I uh, used to be really good at the triangle at. I used to do it all the time. So first things first. If he has a grip on my lapel, I'm gonna to need to take care of that first, right? I can't come in and start throwing up triangles. He's gonna like dig an underhook and start passing and then, yeah, make my life miserable, all right? So I wanna get rid of this grip. How am I gonna do this? Some guys will come in and we'll just start grabbing and yanking. And you know, that can work. It can be successful, but I like to kind of try to fight against the joint a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in and let, let go of this for a second there. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna grab the wrist, all right? And then I'm gonna, um, uh, grab the hand rather, I'm sorry. Grab the hand and then I'm going to come in with my other hand just like this and I'm going to catch it right in this right in this space here on the wrist. So I'm going to fold his hand here which is going to uh, minimize the effectiveness of his grip when I fold his hand here and it's going to be a really quick break. Right, so he's going to grab that. I'm going to come in here, grab the hand and this is going to come in, catch just like this and it's going to be right there, a pop and that's going to right, mess with his uh, the structure of his hand which will also mess with the strength of his grip, all right? So again, he's got that grip. I'm gonna come in, grab the hand, pop off, and get that. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take my left hand and I wanna transition to the sleeve, because I wanna have a sleeve grip to set up my triangle here. My favorite sleeve grip to use is to use my four fingers inside the gi. I'm gonna come in, fold it over, and grip just like this. This way I put my knuckles against his arm, so that way when he tries to move his arm around, I can use the knuckles against his arm to keep him from getting his arm back, right? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one, I'm gonna get the same grip, the hooks here. All right, so now we're ready to start setting up our triangle now that I have my controls. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna open up my guard, I'm gonna put my foot on the floor and start shrimping out one way, all right? So I'm gonna put my right foot here, shrimp out to my right, I'm gonna bring my knee inside like I'm going for a scissor sweep, all right? But then I'm gonna turn it up, just like this, and put my right foot in his hip, all right? So I got the foot in the hip, my knee's inside his arm, it's playing out, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Foot down, shrimp out, bring the knee in like it's going for a scissor, for a scissor sweep. Left foot and hip here, and I'm gonna still have my grips. I'm gonna splay out, which kind of breaks his posture down and it brings his arms to the outside and he doesn't really have many options from me, all right? So now I got both feet and the hips, both knees and the biceps, legs spread, got really good control of them. So now I'm gonna use my feet and his hips to raise my hips off the floor. Bring my hips up nice and high. Now I'm going to pick a side, all right? So let's say I'm going to use my left foot. I'm going to take my left foot off of this hip and bring my knee to my chest, just like this. I'm going to try to keep my hips up in the air uh, by balancing on my right foot. So here, here. And now I'm going to shoot my left leg over his shoulder as I bring my right foot off of his hip and shoot my right foot back as well. Right there into the triangle, all right? First thing I need to do, grab my shin and control his posture. When I want to be down here, he's going to posture up and start making, tri making the triangle loose. So right here, I can release this grip, right? And go here. Right foot is going to go in his hip. Now the first thing I want to do, once I've got you know this position secured, I got his posture broken, I want to try to get an angle. A bit, a very common mistake with the triangle, people lock it up here with this shoulder in. That's going to give him a lot of space. It can make, make him be able to spread out and get some space in his neck, just like that. So I've got this. I'm going to shift my hips this way. I'm going to bring my hips out to the right, that side, all right? As I do this, I want to try to bring my foot and my heel this side of his shoulder, all right? So I want to get his shoulder out of this lock, right here. You can see how my leg now is on this side of the shoulder and not, not this side, here, not here. That's what we're looking for, here. And now when I bring this up to lock it in, I'm also gonna use my right leg to bump the elbow inside. And that's gonna bring the arm across, right? So if he splays this out a little bit, 
I'm gonna use this, come up wide, squeeze and bump that arm across with that leg. Now I can lock in the triangle, squeeze the head down, and get the tap. All right, let's go through it again. I'm here, he has this grip, gonna grab the hand, break by folding, folding the hand in the wrist, just like that. Come to the sleeve grip, sleeve grip, right here, control the hands. Foot on the floor, shrimp out, knee in, open, shrimp out, knee in, open, feet on the hips, got to control this posture now, right? Hips are going to come up in the air, one foot comes off the hip, and shoot, right there. First thing, immediately, up here, grab the shin, grab my knee if I want to, keep that posture. If he gets his posture back, it's very, very hard to finish. Right, so right here. Now with my right foot in the hip, scoop my hip out. Bring my foot, I'm, I'm making space here to exaggerate it, but when I do this, I'm gonna keep it really low. Bring my foot up and over that shoulder, all right? So I'm gonna be here, scoot out, over that shoulder. Right leg's gonna come up, bump that arm in, or bump that arm across, rather. Use my the inside of my thigh on his tricep, right there. Squeeze, with the tap. One more little trick that I like to do, if I'm still not getting it, if I'm still here and he, maybe he's got a really skinny neck or, you know, I can't get the right space or whatever. I can come under here. I can hook underneath his arm here and use that to help me create my angle. And when I do that, I'm going to grab my own knee. And another thing I can do when I'm grabbing my shin, I'm going to take my left leg and I'm going to kick my foot that way as I try to keep my hand in place next to his head. So I'm starting here. I'm going to kick, kick, kick. Just like that. And notice how my, my hand went from here. To here, he kind of bent his neck. It's gonna, that's going to close up a lot of the space. Now, keeping here, I'm going to keep my hand right where it is, and same thing. Use my leg to bump that arm in, squeeze in. Very, very tight triangle, all right? And even if you can't get it, maybe the guy's a freak, whatever. Since I've got this right here, this underhook with the hand in the knee, I can always come right here to the arm bar. Right there. Okay? All right, guys, so that's a great setup for the triangle. Um, there are, you know, probably a hundred setups that you could use for the triangle. There's so many of them. There's so many different angles you can use it. But what I want to focus on there is how to finish the triangle, the proper mechanics, making sure you get that angle, making sure you get your foot over the shoulder so that shoulder is not included in the triangle lockup, and then also how to uh, kick out the space with that leg if you need that little extra bit of tightness, all right? So um, next week, I will, or next week or two weeks, whenever I make the next instruction, I'll probably go over the transition from a triangle into an arm bar when the guy postures. Again, this is per request of one of my viewers. Um, make sure that if you guys have something that you want to see, uh, find me on Facebook, like me, and send me a message. Say, hey, you know, I'd like to see this. And I'm going to try to accommodate that. I want to try to make this channel interactive. I want you to tell me what you think of these techniques. If you guys have any. Um, slight variations or if you guys have something that you want to see that I can show to you that's awesome that's kind of what I want to make make out of this channel I also want to give a shout out to my sponsor combat skin for supporting me and making these videos they've got some cool stuff so you go make sure to go to their site check out some of their gear they've got geese rash guards and then also casual apparel like t-shirts hats and stuff right so go check them out combatskin.com um, so until then I will uh, see you guys next time keep training